Welcome to Lux House. My name is Lisa Bastian and I'm the Artistic Director for Lux Royal Productions. In 1843, Charles Dickens wrote A Christmas Carol. He prefaced the ghostly little book by adding, may it haunt their houses pleasantly and no one wish to lay it. Our own version of this holiday classic features not an Ebenezer Scrooge, but a female character, Isabella Scrooge. Tonight here, the community theater production of Scrooge. <laughs> To begin with, Molly was dead. There is no doubt whatever about that. The register of his burial was signed by the clergyman, the clerk, the undertaker. Old Marley was dead as a doornail, and no doubt about it. This must be distinctly understood, or nothing wonderful can come of the story I'm about to relate. There was only one mourner at his funeral. Isabella Scrooge, his partner in business. Scrooge never painted out old Marley's name. There it hung, seven long years afterwards, above the warehouse door. Sometimes people called Scrooge Scrooge, and sometimes they called her Marley. But she answered to both names. It was all the same to her. And seven years passed. These seven years did not change her. Oh, she was a tight-fisted hand at the grindstone Scrooge, a squeezing, wrenching, grasping, scraping, clutching, covetous old sinner. Rent, interest, dividend, penalty. Penalty, dividend, interest, rent. There. No. Dividend. There. Interest. No. Penalty. No. There. Compounded. Sinner and in. What do you want? I want to see a car, madam. 4p. And why, you miserable boy, would you presume to do that? It, it's Christmas, madam. And I'm an orphan, madam. I must think for my supper. An orphan? Yes, madam. No mother, no father. No, madam. Just a little orphan boy out in the cold, begging, wanting my money. I'll do something, madam. Oh, I'll give you something. Hold out your hand and I'll give you this! <gasps> Christmas beggars. Orphans! But humbug. 